ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be replacing the engine cooling fan on a 2003 Honda CRV, and this has the 2.4 liter engine. I highly recommend, first thing you do, disconnect your battery. So the first thing you'll want to do before starting this project is you'll want to get your new fan assembly. So here's the part, there's the part number. I purchased this from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. You can expect to pay about $120, maybe a little less, at your local parts store. Or you could order it online and probably save about 40 bucks or so. Once you have your part, the next thing you'll want to do is you're going to find a small screwdriver. Or you could use a tool like this. You can use your small screwdriver, put in there, and just pull this up. Once you have all eight of these fasteners removed, you can just lift it up on this shield and it will just move right out of the way. So when replacing these, here are a few quick tips on replacing them. I know you probably don't want to hear me talk too much, you just want to get this done, but these tips will save you uh, from needing to backtrack or do something more than once. So uh, be patient for a minute or two and I'll try to be as quick and thorough as possible. Once you have that shroud off, if you are just replacing your condenser fan, you do not have to remove everything that I'm going to show you. Um, there's a little bit of play in the radiator, and there's also play in this bracket. This bracket has to be loosened. Um, when I say loosened, you will need to remove eight 10 millimeter bolts, there, which are all located up top here. Um, you can see that I have some of the brackets removed already. So you end up removing all those, and then this will actually move. Um, and you'll be able to push it out of the way and pull the radiator out of the way in order to remove this fan carefully. But if you are going to be replacing your engine cooling fan, this bracket must be removed. Um, when I say removed, I mean to the extent of this bracket being lifted up and sort of pressed off to the side, not removed as in you can set it down outside the vehicle. That'd be a bit of a pain and a bit more work. So once you have this top cover off here, you will want to remove a total of eight 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna point them out here for you. You got one here, one here, one here. And once this bracket is removed, there'll be one right behind here, um, behind this the L shape of the bracket. Same thing on the other side. You have all four of these bracket or bolts that you'll need to remove. And then you'll have two more of those fasteners that we took off in the beginning that you'll need to remove, one on each side. So once you have all eight of these removed, come over here and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding part of the air cleaner on. Uh, if you're using like a, a ratchet wrench or something to remove these, make sure that you're cautious of the uh, positive side of the battery cable here. And disconnect this hose leading to your filler cap and then you will have three 10 millimeter bolts that you'll want to remove. This one here, there'll be one right here holding the fan on, and then one right here. Once you have that done, you can come down here to your electrical harness. You just push in where my thumb is right here, push in on it and pull out, and that will come out easily. So with those eight bolts out of the way, this here can lift up a little bit. See how it lifts? You can push it toward the rear of the vehicle. And then this here, with these fasteners loosened, as long as you're careful, you could pull this out a little bit. Don't put tons of pressure on this because it is plastic and it will crack. But that gap right there, with all this removed, you can walk this out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you here that this can come out without removing all of this. You do have to sort of walk it side to side here. So I'm gonna lift forward on this, lift to the rear of the vehicle. Walk it. You have to move things. Um, these have little grooves on them, little lips, about a quarter inch lip that seems to catch on everything. So, I'm looking straight down to make sure none of this is touching the radiator itself. So, there we have it. So in order to get this metal brace out of the way, um, it's a bit of a pain. There are eight 10 millimeter bolts up top, and then there are going to be two down below. 
I will try to show you um, exactly where they are, um, but it is a bit tough. You will have to excuse the bad quality picture, but if you remove this bracket right here, you can see that I have, there's a built-in nut there. There's a bolt that holds this in. But if you remove that, you can then raise this up and down, and then you can access the bolt right down here. So it is one of those bolts that takes, uh, you know, a quarter turn at a time. So it's a bit of a pain, but it does come off. Um, putting it back will be fun as well, but you'll need to remove this in order to re replace your engine cooling fan because the shroud on the fan is just too large to squeeze out without possibly damaging something. All right, so I have a total of nine 10 millimeter bolts removed here. Again, when you are doing this, it is crucial that you make sure that you disconnect your battery. Because when you're lifting this up, if you don't want to disconnect everything, you're going to set it all up there. So I'm going to show you here. I'm just lifting it, just slightly setting it out of the way there. Just rest it wherever it will rest. And that should give me plenty of space to pull it out. Um, next thing you'll want to do is you'll take your, your flathead screwdriver and you will remove your upper radiator hose, maybe you have a tension clap on it, but uh, it looks like mine's a flathead, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Just make sure you have a catch pan down below, and you will remove your upper radiator hose. You'll need this removed and tucked out of the way. And here's your air cleaner tube. If you reach your hand down on the bottom, you could slowly pry up on the boot that covers the end of it, and this will come straight out see there that the boot just sort of snaps over that there's no ring or clamp or anything on it but you can pull that out and set it aside next I will remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding this fan in and then this will just lift straight out and we will replace it when going to remove the engine cooling fan um, be careful not to press or pull up on the radiator tongue here so we're going to and see how easy it comes out. Just walking it. There's a lot of different things for the fan to catch on. And there we go. So we have the fan out. Now we're going to compare it to the new one and reinstall it in the reverse order. Now with the fan reinstalled, go ahead and install your 10 millimeter bolts. Connect your wiring harness here, and then you're going to reinstall your your air cleaner tube, followed by reinstalling your radiator hose. I recommend making sure that you reinstall your lower 10 millimeter bolts before reinstalling the passenger side fan here. Also, double check any of the connections down at the bottom there to make sure that you did not accidentally disconnect something or pull a wire loose. Now we have both fans reinstalled. When reinstalling them, make sure that you reconnect uh, the electrical harnesses going to each fan. And also make sure you tighten both 10 millimeter bolts on the top of each fan. Um, before tightening those, make sure that you get the bottom two holes uh, lined up. That way the fan does not bounce around on you. Also, you'll want to reinstall your overflow 10 millimeter bolt here. Now we're going to go ahead and start reinstalling this top bracket and all the 10 millimeter bolts uh, that go with that. 